2017 but what features let's make some predictions share what i want to see let me know the features you want in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button in 2016 update 3.5 and update 4.0 launched for the ps4 with some interesting functions like folders the quick menu and way more so we can expect at least two big new updates in 2017 but with what features let's start with the most requested one being able to change your playstation network names since the launch of psn the name you chose is the one that you have until this day that's it so a ton of people that thought it was funny to think of something crazy or use a curse name have their trophies attached to it and they can't change it i can totally see why your grown-up self would love to change that now but because the way the playstation network works it simply can't be done sony once gave a reason why it can't be possible it said that it didn't want users to yell at people in one game then get like banned but then they could change their name and do it again. But that seems like a weird reason to me. Apart from me wanting this name change feature, the latest Unreal Engine 4.14 changes also suggest that something like this is coming, with changes that look to replace the online ID with the account ID. So something is going on there. I will keep you up to date when this news is announced. I will let you know but right now it seems like it will be rather sooner than later so fingers crossed during the PlayStation 4 reveal event back in February 2013 Sony promised some awesome features like share play remote play and try before you buy or something like that I've always liked that concept of try it for free share it if you like it and pay only for the games that you fall in love with the idea is that you could try every game in the PlayStation Store for let's say an hour before you buy it. Do you like it? Well then you have to pay, you can continue with your save. If you don't like it, well, just don't bother and move on to the next game. This would be powered by the streaming service Gaikai that they now use for the PlayStation Now. So it would be like you go to the PlayStation Store, you see a game, you want to try it, so you hit a button, it will stream it to your PS4, of course you need a great internet for that, and then you can just play it, you can just try it. I do think that I know why they don't have this feature in right now. It's probably because of the publishers that for example don't want anyone to play their games before they buy it so they might miss sales. So for example a person goes in and thinks Final Fantasy 15 will be a great game for him then plays the first hour and thinks okay no it's I was totally wrong. Otherwise they might have bought it and now they tried it first. So on the other hand uh, some games might be more happy with this, let's say Titanfall 2, where people will play it and then see, oh wow, it is really great, and then buy it, well otherwise they would not have bothered, because they just simply could not try it for themselves. Let's say Sony announces this feature in 2017, it will be available soon, then it might cause games to invest a lot in the first hour, so people will be tricked into buying it, and then later it will be like worse that sort of stuff that that could be that could be happening that would be interesting it could also be that sony simply doesn't have the technology yet to make this a thing and that we might see it in 2017 i would be down for that i think that this would be a great feature for the consumers during the playstation 4 reveal event sony also talked about a feature that is pretty scary namely the fact that the ps4 will predict what games you're going to buy so that if you then buy this game you already have it on your hard drive ready to play Maybe cool on paper, but kind of big brother as well. Also, be glad that this feature isn't in right now. Uh, if you have like a 500 gig hard drive, I mean that would be insane. And oh no, they can't even play the games that you do want, but only the games that Sony thinks you want, or something like that. Anyway, a recommend feature though would be really cool. I mean, there's something like this in the uh, store, of course. If you scroll down by a game, you see what people that bought this game also bought. So that's interesting. But I'm more talking about some, some sort of pop-up screen where if you, uh, if the PlayStation Store releases an update, you and then you log into your PlayStation 4, you will just see a pop-up screen that says, okay, there are new games that you might like or based on the things you bought or where you have trophies for. Something like that for you to also keep up to date on some of the smaller games that are easy to overlook. Combine that with the stream now feature and then you see this pop up screen. It says, whoa, this game should be really awesome for you. Then you just hit X 
and you can try it for yourself and stuff like that that would be awesome right in the ps3 era it was possible to create your own teams on your computer and then you later use it on the ps3 but right now there is no such feature it would be cool if sony could return that again so that people can share their creations that you can download for example some awesome teams that other people made or create your own teams of a game that you love but isn't featured in the playstation store that would be great, right? Speaking of the PlayStation Store, it would be nice if I could see what PlayStation 4 games had pro support. Like, um, this game is patched and features a 1080p mode and a 4K mode, something like that. Right now, if you go into the PlayStation Store, you can't even see if the game supports the PS4 Pro features. So, that's kind of lackluster. Now that the PlayStation VR is in our houses we can buy it it lives beside the playstation 4 playstation 3 and fida i think it would be fair to give the playstation vr users some playstation plus games as well wouldn't it be great to get a free psvr game every month if you're subscribed to the service especially since some psvr games are not really like games they're just quick experience that last an hour or even less so kill one or two fida games ps3 games i don't care uh, just give me a PSVR game on plus every month or maybe two that would really be cool I mean then you also give some money to the developers of course the PlayStation Plus games that are on the servers is uh, Sony pays for them of course because yeah they are now free so the developer will not make any money so then some VR developers that have a hard time creating these games also get some money so yeah win-win right Speaking of PlayStation VR, I think it would be cool if the PSVR people would get a special way to watch the E3 press conference or another press conference that Sony is going to do. That they like put a 360 camera in the audience that you can access with your VR headset and BOM! You are in that room, you're watching, you're, you're sitting next to Shuei Yoshida or someone else that is in the audience. I mean, at the E3 2016 press conference, Shuei was in the audience. I was like sitting a few seats like after him so um, the, the, yeah it was, I mean it was pretty good it was weird to see him there because obviously I would have thought okay he's going to go up the stage and talk about the games but sadly he didn't on the other hand the show was great so even without him let's go back to the PS4 features um, yeah to wrap it up I kind of like the place where the PS4 is in right now uh, some of the features like share play or something like that I don't even use it it's cool for the people that use it but right now I just yeah talk in a party look at my trophies via the quick menu I really like that quick menu feature and yeah I don't even put games in folders so I really like where my PS4 is at right now of course it would be awesome if the menus were faster I mean I got a freaking PS4 Pro so I expect that my menus work faster than on a regular PS4 Sadly, this is not the case. Also, the download times would be cool if those yeah, could go up. Also, always, faster download times are always great. Or that I could open like two games at the same time on my PS4 Pro. That I could just switch between them if I just want a quick Call of Duty round, for example. Then go back to Final Fantasy without having to restart the game like as a whole. That Stuff like that would be awesome. But right now... I'm not dying apart from the fact that they need to figure that name change thing out that really needs to happen but apart from that I'm fine with how the PS4 is but I'm super curious to see what they will bring to the table in 2017 with I think at least two big updates like they did in 2016 as well I'm curious to hear your PlayStation 4 uh, features that they things that you want to see let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more predictions for...